home. Over the weekend, a shooting incident occurred at Eastern Market in Detroit during a tailgate party for the Lions game. The shooting took place around 4.30 p.m. at Eastern Market, and officers were in the area for traffic control and heard gunshots. Detroit police confirmed two people were shot, one killed, and another in critical condition following a fight at Eastern Market on Sunday evening. Detroit Police Chief James White said officers arrested a man from the Oakland County suburb of Oak Park who is in his 30s and is licensed to carry a gun. Of course, with all of this information out there and all of these big events, it's important to know just what the protocol is for when something like this occurs and if you're involved in it. So joining us on the program right now, we have Deputy Chief with the West Bloomfield Police Department, Dale Young. Dale, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, good morning, Jake. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Of course, I wish it was under uh, more positive circumstances, but this is information that's important to get out to the community. So my first question, Dale, is what should the community be focusing on when going out into a large public place to keep vigilant and to prepare themselves for an event like this? Yes. Uh, thank you for the question. So you hit the nail right on the head. The very first thing is people need to be extremely vigilant of their surroundings. They should know who's around them. They should know uh, their exits if they need to get away quickly. And uh, they need to essentially report anything that is uh, unsavory that's happening around them. And sometimes some of these warning signs can be things like violent rhetoric. It could be things like... Um, you know, violence that breaks out. Maybe there's a fight between one or more people. Uh, sometimes it's the fact that maybe they see somebody with a, a firearm. And the best thing to do in those cases is to contact the uh, local authorities. Yes, that's right. Any Anything that's at all unusual, that's out of place, that immediately gives you caution should be reported. Are, are there any other unusual things, maybe some like more unusual things that people can look out for in situations like this? Maybe ones that people aren't normally aware of. Well, if, if you see, for instance, maybe like an unattended bag, you know, sometimes we hear that if we go to the airport, they'll say don't leave any, uh, any bags or packages unattended. I would argue the same thing in a public setting too. If it looks unusual, trust your gut, let the authorities know. Worst case scenario is they check it out and find out it is nothing. Um, or it could be on the more extreme side, it could be something and at least uh, the authorities have gotten a jump on it. Absolutely. Dale Young, Deputy Chief with the West Bloomfield Police Department, joins us on the Splash this morning to talk about community awareness and safety from should the event, should another shooting event occur close to home. And you talked about reporting these things to the authorities. When would be the appropriate time to do so? I would say as soon as somebody feels uh, that something is off or wrong, that they should absolutely reach out to the authorities. Because again, that's why we exist is to uh, protect the health and welfare of the community. And so we'd like to know and we would go out and we'd investigate that. That's right. And like as soon as you see something that's immediately out of place, report it. Now, should a suspected event occur, what precautions should people take to avoid injury from the chaos? So the FBI puts out a great model called run, hide, fight. And in that order is what they recommend. So if it's feasible, given all the variables that go into uh, an unfortunate situation like this, you, the first option is to run, try to escape. Remember we were talking about earlier to be aware of those exits in case you had to make a hasty exit. Well, this is the time to uh, do that. The next thing is, is that you're gonna leave your belongings behind. Because again, things can be replaced, people are invaluable. And after that, if for some reason um, you were not able to get away, then the next step is to hide. And when you're hiding, you want to hide away from the shooter if at all possible. You'd like to be behind some uh, barrier like a locked door. You'd like to barricade that door. You want to silence your cell phone. You want to make sure that it remains in, in vibrate and to remain quiet. The last resort, if neither of those are options, is to fight. And you fight uh, in whatever manner that you possibly can that's going to keep you safe. And you have to be extremely 
committed to your actions in those cases. One other thing I want to point out, though, is that when you are safe, when you feel safe, then call 911 as soon as possible. That's right. Get the authorities out there as soon as you can and to make sure that as many people as possible are safe. Deputy, thank you so much for your time today. One more quick question before we let you go. What are some resources where people can go to learn about things like this online to maybe learn of other ways to protect themselves in situations like this? So two great resources that I would like to funnel the people to. One is going to be the FBI. They have a whole lot of literature regarding active shooter events and preparedness. And then I would also um, have people go to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, also known as FEMA. They also have a wide range of information regarding active shooter events. Great resources to have available. Deputy Chief Dale Young with the West Bloomfield Police Department joins us right now on The Splash. Th thank you so much for your time today. No problem. Good to see you.